A Originals. Hello, everyone. RBG Kim Kid here with a new Let's Play of Tales of Kanzara Zao. Is that how you pronounce that one? And Kanzara? I think that's how you pronounce that, too. I was very excited about this game. Uh, this game got announced during the Game Awards last year in 2023. And just the, the developer or the lead person explaining what the story, what this game meant to him. How it's about, you know, the loss of a father, loss of a parental figure, and basically how his culture goes through it all and such. And I was very excited for that. I mean, the trailer looked good. The gameplay looked good. It's a roguelike game, kind of like Metroid in a way. And I'm okay with that. Um, I know the only time I've ever done, like, a Metroid-like games were in in stream form. But I think, I think it'll work in uh, Let's Play form, too, in a way. I'm very excited for this. Uh, I can't wait to play it. And just to watch it and such, it's it looks very beautiful from, again, from the trailers I've seen and everything. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, without further ado, let's continue. Or start, I guess. Um, here's all this shit. Um, okay. When this option is enabled, the game's dialogue will automatically progress instead of require player input. I do like that on... But I, I wish, uh, maybe I'll keep it off. I'll keep it off for now, just until I know the compute, uh, the dialogue such. Uh, control aim sensitivity, I think that's fine. Stick dead zone, adjust range of motions before a stick input is registered. Sure. Um, I think these are all fine. All right, visibility. I'll put it a little higher there. So, if I want graphics or quality. Um, or performance or gr quality, I meant. Um, let's go with performance. I think that's fine. Now this is actually going to be my my you know opening card. <laughs> um, I think we already did everything in settings that we need to, right? Yeah. Wait, balance. Oh, difficulty. Ah, that's what we'll get now. Um, yeah, let's start a new journey. Every story begins at the end of another. Wow, look at this. This is cute. This reminds me a lot of like how sometimes uh, Wakanda is is portrayed in the comics. So yeah. Awesome. I I can't 
Hand. Zuberi? I miss him so much. I know. I miss him too. Maybe if you go to see him, pay your respects? No, I, I can't. I, I can't do that yet. Zuberi. Mama, I can't. Baba, he... He left this for you. For the days after. When Baba found out he was sick. The look on his face. The anxiety. The fear. The anger. Even a little confusion. But he had this sudden drive to write. He started this book. I think he wanted to make sure he had a good story to tell his son. What's it about? I don't know. But maybe it is for you to find out. Take your time, Zuberi. At the end of a world I once knew. The shaman's path is one of healing, one of guiding. That's a good start, I'd say that. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding? Baba. <laughs> Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death. Hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, Zhao. Shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, Shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow... Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed. I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba. A sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail... Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. But do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. Boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman. 
my father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. The moon. Alright, there's Zao. There's uh, Buri. Mama. Kalunga. So are all our characters. Creatures. I haven't seen many yet. Locations, locations, locations. A mandala. Amani. Alright. Trinkets. Nothing yet. Skills. Obviously nothing yet. The sun and the moon and the rain and the stars. Our map. Ah, 100% already. <laughs> um, nope. Journey. Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, and Act 4. Ooh. It's actually interesting that they kind of lay out a little map for us here, so that's nice. Um, I don't expect this game to be long, so I feel like this is a nice game to have in between now and, um, you know, with Paper Mario still going on. Even though I feel like uh, Paper Mario will end before Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance comes out. Same with, and honestly, this game might end too, so. But I'll, we'll figure it out along the way. All right. You look at these statues with anguish, Nganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here to Patakatifu. Patakatifu. He would admire these statues with fear. Oh, my Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we passed through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of facing the great spirits. No. I am reminded of my Baba. I do not say this to mock you, Zhao, but this is not easterly. I know what I am doing. <laughs> is there something over there I can get, I wonder? Uh, prob well, hold on, there is something down there, but... Yeah, you know what, let's just go the way we're supposed to go for now. We'll learn as we go. Gotta dash and circle. Combat. The Mask of the Moon. Miraculous and deadly spirits roam the land of Kenzara. Use the power of the mask to defeat them. 
Mask Moon excels in both long range attacks and crowd control techniques. Press square to perform a light attack. One thing I'm not a big fan of is when I'm trying to aim. Oh. There we go. to channel my power it is the mask of the moon baba taught me the ways graceful is the flow a harmony soaked in virtuous intent we should keep moving your proficiency intrigues me but yet it does not make you immortal kijana you are injured you must heal i am fine a gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion <laughs> maybe you are right fine i will heal Inflicting damage against enemies towards Zhao with spirit. Press up to heal. Healing consumes spirit. Zhao can also find healing orbs in the world to restore health. I have seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side. And these spirits linger here. Not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. Won't open up the codex for everything that we do. There must be a key nearby. Mus music's already is fantastic. Visuals are fa are wonderful. Um, combat's not so bad. So. The strength of the sun. The mask of the sun. Mask of the sun grants Zayu Ze brutal melee power. Press square, square, square to perform a light combo attack. showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intentions. Mm. Mm. Your Baba taught you well. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Eh? Hey. Only <laughs> time will tell. The sun. The moon. I must embrace the dance. The dance of the shaman. Press L1 to switch between the mask of the sun and the mask of the moon. This is the dance of the shaman. Use the mask... You need combat styles to adapt to each situation. Huh. 
technology. It is the spiritual property that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever. I'm assuming this is our skill points or whatever. Our experience. Ulaji. Ulaji is the soul energy acquired from defeating enemies and breaking upon Ulaji crystals. Gain Ulji to earn Shaman Points. Shaman Points can be spent to upgrade Zalzik's skills. Yep, that's why I figured it's experience. Ooh, the enemies have nice designs too. Okay, I was curious if it was actually something I had to pick up or if it was something that... Ooh, I like his... I like how he... How he double... Di double jumps. With the sun mask. Yeah, it's something that I get automatically, so... of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Mm. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Nakifo. I wanna know what that eighth thing at the bottom is. Is that my Oh that's my shot. Mm. That's why I figured at first when I first um Oh that was a healing orb. Damn. Energy. I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear, only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. Yeah, 
hear the echo. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Alright. Oh, well, let you look at that. Found one of three echoes. Don't know how I've missed any more of them before if there was one. So there could be some, like, in areas I haven't been. Like, they're both over here yet. Uh, Codex, that's where I want to go to. The boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to. Staring to him, he felt the heat of a manifested form. Something tangible. Something real. Yet the eyes told Zhao a different tale. A distance in the pupils. A coldness that clung. Meeting death is never an easy thing. The lives of this world danced to his melody. Slept to his lullaby. Lamented to his dirge. At least, that is what they say. Yet Zhao stood and greeted him in a world of perfect silence. No grandeur or ceremony. Just death. A boy. And a haunting request. Neat. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Alright, oh, yeah, no, this is the way I gotta go. I thought there was like another way that way. I'm liking it so far, and I'm gonna say this right now. I mean, Grant, we are only in the first area, but it does seem a little easier than compared to Metroid Metroid game. And what I mean by that is in it's like like it'll be easier to collect everything. That's what I mean. Press L3 and R3 to perform a spirit attack. These powerful attacks cost two shaman segments. Mask of the Moon Spirit Attack is Lunar Blast, a devastating energy beam that obliterates enemy in its path. Use L to control the direction of the beam. Mask of the Sun Spirit Attack is Supernova, transforming Zhao into a towering inferno of sh shamastic fire. I could definitely see how it'll be like to, you know, go between the two. Zhao, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. It'll be more so when we get to bosses, I feel like it'll be more. The sooner I bring you the great spirits, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba. Get to the Great Spirit. Hear my plea. All right, perfect recharge. Press square at the perfect time. During a recharge, it instantly reveals Zhao's light charge and gain a temporary damage boost. That's great. During a light combo attack, press square at the right perfect time to grant increased damage at the next right. We'll do this one. Ah, sweet. It shows me all this stuff, too. 
Alright, press squat. Uh, uh. Oh, I can take cost two shaman points now. Oh, and then I want to that'll cost three, four, and five. Press triangle at the perfect time to deflect incoming hostile projectiles. Increase the maximum amount of light charges by 12. That's good. Press and hold square to build up intense power. Then release square to unleash a brutal barrage of light charges. I think I definitely want to go for that one for the next one. At least for the moon. We'll look about the sun one later. Increase the width and damage of lunar blast. Hold R2 near projectiles or enemies on low health and put them in a stasis field. Release R2 to launch them in any direction. While charging light barrage, hold square at the perfect time to increase damage. Oh, nice. And then increase the width and damage. I read that one. Adds an additional strike to Zal's light combo attack. While airborne, hold down with L and triangle to smash into the ground to deal damage and knock enemies back. Nice, like that kind of stuff. Supernova 2, increase the radius and damage of Supernova. Ignite on the field, uh, on the final strike of a light combo attack, the enemy will burst into flames. Solar flare, enemies caught in the sol solar quake will burst into flames. Wait, is there a solar quake? Oh, there we go. Uh, spear breaker, Akita's spear can pierce and break through multiple enemies. And then Supernova 3. Supernova, I'm um, superhuman one again. Okay. Alright, well, it's down here. And Echo. The warmth and the light, bound together in a harmony fueled by the balance. The sun and the moon, the great bodies that hold dominion over the skies. She is the mother that gives the warm embrace when the endless sea above is a coursing blue. Even in the cloudiest of days, she waits behind the veil to reassure. He is the father, there in the darkness. Though the shadows lay heavy, the light brings reprieve, ushers forth the path to a sweet lilting clarity. The warmth and the light, bound together in a harmony fueled by the balance. The collective parent, protecting, guiding. Zhao held the masks of the sun and the moon to the highest adoration, for as long as the dominion was close, the embrace would never leave him. I like hearing these stories. They're nice. Food. Um, is there a way I could just... Ah, here we go. Here's the map, I was supposed to say. Alright. Oh, I almost have all the echoes. I'm missing just one now. Uh, is that death down there? I cannot wait. Hey, move, please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait. Okay. Oh, well. Trinkets and an Echoes.
Another obstacle. Another obstruction. The gates. The spirits. The girl. Now this stupid bridge. Hmm. I was not expecting that. What? Anger. A shaman to be bested by a bridge. <laughs> it did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> that girl up by the bridge. She was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. And now we have to wait. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. Heal up again, because I got my ass handed to me. Okay, hold on I quickly turn. Yep, okay, I'm actually very curious how long it like an act is going to be. I know this symbol. Greatness. Greatness. Fools chase it, yet heroes are found by it. What is such a symbol doing here? I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Funny enough, like when it comes for the A's, that's the um, that's the the A. So Not that's actually kind of cool. A challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it. One that only we can use. All I have to do is get through it. Prove my worthiness as a shaman. Hmm. The choice has always is yours. If you believe you can, then you must. But be cautious. Alright, let's see. Ow. Do I have to, like, keep dashing? Oh, okay. No dash. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. So so one hit kills me. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Fuck! Ugh, I knew it. I was like, I'm, I'm, I was too close. Now I gotta start from the beginning. Yep. Oh well, that's fine. Trinket found. Battering stance. Battering stance. Damage inflicted by slamming enemies into each other or environments is increased. Oh. I've seen this before. A shaman's trinket. See how delicate it is. Powerful too. Yes, you are lucky, Zhao. This power in the wrong hands would be disastrous. Today, it has found a hopeful host. You are a shaman of Kinzera. Use this power how the others would have wanted. For good, for greatness. Oh, 
I need to find a workbench first before I can put it on. weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. Oh, uh, we're missing one, but that's fine. In those first weeks of the sickness, Zhao had never left his Baba's side. Yet, beyond their door, a different story unfolded. He would hear the cautioned orders of the warriors ferrying the people onto the long roads away. He remembered now the cries of children as they left their homes and the louder sobs of the elders that knew they may never see their lands again. Those that did not flee succumbed to the growing darkness of the world. One, then another, then another. Falling by a cruel grip of survival that none could sustain, that none could strengthen. It was the slow fall of time that brought the sickness to his home, to his Baba. The safety of the door mattered little now. The pain and the hearth became as one. Okay. Did you really think that Abrit would best me? Yes, I did. <laughs> Shows how much faith you have in me. Yes, it does. Ah, here's a workbench. Workbenches. Zhao has found a shaman trinket. An ancient relic of Kinzara, the great Zhao, that grants Zhao a powerful boon. Uh, workbenches are used to equip shaman trinkets. Other shaman trinkets can be discovered through Zhao's journey. Oh, I found one from here too. Lifted spear. Juggling enemies in combat increases the amount of spear gain or battering stance. Let's uh, have this one. Seems like I can only have one equipped at a time, evening the odds. Tricksters corrupted by their lingering circumstance. They have abandoned their jesting nature for spite. Do not underestimate them, Zhao. You take me for underestimating uh, enemies here? Because I'm not uh, really underestimating them. At least I feel like I'm not. Alright, how? 
anything else in this? Okay, there are stuff up there, but how? Well, I did get a level up, so. Like a, I need like a. Yeah, I'm missing something. About a, like a, a fourth, okay. So I didn't really have that much in terms of the experience, so. Yumbos, pay them no caution. Yumbos! They do not seek to offend or harm. Truly, they are good people. Their only wish is to care. They rejuvenate and welcome others. They help. Come, take a moment. A traveler must rest to know the ground has shifted. Fast travel. Nice. Okay. What's that? Oh, workbench. Just like the sun and moon masks. <laughs> Bambas stone. Bambas stones? Wear the moon mask, hold L2 and use L to aim. Press R2 to launch Bombo's stone, freezing enemies or moving water. A stone of Earth, Earth's creation, embracing in the loving warmth of the Father Moon. A throw that defies nature, not tr nature's law. Throw that saved a people. I feel different. Adithia Bamba. Hmm. The tale tells us his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba Stone. <laughs> <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Bamba Stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. <laughs> he got a shrine for that. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Use these teachings well. Mm. Use Bomba Stone on rushing water to temporarily freeze the line Zao to run across or jump off of water. Bomba Stone can also be used in combat to temporarily freeze enemies in place. Ah, and I have only three down there. You see at the bottom of my, where my health and all that stuff's at. You no, 
else up there? No, don't look like it. God, I am sucking at the... button Kalunga do all shamans get shines no the actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not hmm. Make my way back down. Oh, that was close. I almost got smushed. Cascaded unto themselves with a will of their own. Yeah, these are definitely the the story. Like this is the the actual like uh story pages that um the of pots filled with the clean tranquil water brought to a family to cook together to be together. The waters around the boy fell and cascaded unto themselves with a will of their own. In a way. It was a reminder to Zhao to take comfort in the simple wonders of our world, to behold the humble incarnations of nature. He welcomed this reminder again and again, each step a longing dream of the distant tranquility. The memories of the yep, past... I mean for that, we don't need to hear it again. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but... Yumbos, mysterious yet benevolent creatures. Yumbos hail from a world of ever pleasant joy. Their lives are dripped in merriment, often dancing all night and under the warm glow of the moonlight. The Yumbos have now found their way to Kinzara to stay with the Yumbos to find a calm respite from troubling times. Only three more people left. I love how there's like different art things for like, so there it is right there, and then there's. One right there, I kind of like that. How did this? Oh, these are, um, other shamans. Okay. Well, not really other shamans, but you know what I mean. Well, I guess other shamans is correct.
Oh, I I'm supposed to head on back that way, huh? Okay. Nice, I actually got this time. Not enough. I need two. My Baba will have a shrine, as will I. When I bring him back, they will tell our tale, our Hadithi. I will show you. Focus on the now, Zhao. I am focusing. I know what to do. Return to the surface and seek out this Ikakarambangal. You know something that bridge, Zhao. Please do not fall this time. You know something that I'm actually very excited to see about this game? Speed runs. I think this game is gonna be great for speed runs. But anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this first part of Let's Play The Legends of Kenzaru. Zhao. In the next part, guys, we continue on our journey, maybe get our first great spirit. I'm really liking this so far. Um it's really fun. It definitely, it does feel a lot like Metrovania stuff in a way. How in the fuck do I, where the hell is the echo at if it's not there? Oh, well. The last echo is probably in here because we haven't been able to go there yet. So, or it could be like in there. But again, we haven't been able to, yeah, we haven't done anything about this. So, but that's fine. That's something we'll always go back to. Um... No, I can't wait. This game's fun, and I can't. I hope we keep playing more of it because it's fun. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click and comment down below. Check about the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know, guys, what do you think about this game so far? Did you guys play it already, or are you guys experiencing it for the first time by watching me playing it? Because I'm liking it. It's fun. So yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, and subscribe to the main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBG Kim Kid Twitter are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.